The story of Vigo Schulstel is the story of a young entrepreneur who revolutionized the bakery business without knowing the first thing about bread. It all began in 1880 in Copenhagen, Denmark. Industrialization swept across the nation, putting bread in high demand. And young Vigo spotted a business opportunity to open a bakery and feed the masses. A stickler for detail, Vigo quickly started to question how things were done in the industry. Kneading dough with bare feet and mixing flour while smoking pipes, it didn't seem right to him, and he set out to change these unhealthy practices once and for all. He introduced kneading machines, washrooms and crash courses in hygiene. He installed electric lighting and flushing toilets. He improved employee welfare and, not least, the quality of the bread. Five years before any health and safety laws were introduced. At the time, rye bread was leavened with highly acidic sourdough and both doctors and digestive systems cried out for change. Vigo took on this challenge as well. In 1891, he contacted chemist Christian Ludwigsen, who claimed to have discovered a healthy alternative. The two set up a bread laboratory and in 1896 introduced the world's first malt leaven dry bread, changing the bakery business forever. Until his death in 1921, Vigo continued relentlessly building his business on the foundation of quality, innovation and expertise. Almost a century has passed, but the legacy of Vigo lives on in every bakery product that bears his name. <laughs>